Hello, this is Nevis. I'm going to log into my ESEP, the new eTwinning European login or EU login. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the ESEP page to log in. And this is the European uh, Commission page to log in for eTwinners. And if you haven't done so, then I suggest you go ahead and register. So what I need to do now is I need to log in because I already have a login. So I'm going to try and log in. There are some problems at the moment. It's still a beta. I'm going to make sure that I have the right email and the right password. And then I'm going to click on sign in. This will show up the redirection page and sometimes it comes back and you're not logged in. So there's, you can log in again up here. I sometimes log in down here so I'm going to try it again. And this I think is only happening because of the, the beta, that it's a beta system. And again, uh, so this has happened a few times. Just try that one more time. See I am logged in through the EU. And just because I want to record this, it's not coming up. So let me try that one more time. Uh, when this happens, uh, I sometimes go and click on eTwinning. And then I'll log in again. Let me see if this works. Okay, and I'm in. And there is my profile. So if I open this little arrow on the right, it's going to show me notifications, my dashboard, my twin spaces, my groups, my profile and the logout button, which I sometimes don't want to do because it's so hard getting back in, but not a problem. Now on this front page, you will have noticed, I'm just going to close that and open it in a minute. You will have noticed that down the bottom here, it says you are not authorized to access this page. Um, I really wouldn't worry about that at the moment because I really think this has to do with the fact that it's still a beta platform. But this green message is all I need to know. And it says, the status message says you have been logged in. And again, up here I can see it. So I'm going to click on and have a look at the notification. So if I've asked someone to connect with me, uh, that's where I'll probably see it. And or someone asking me to connect. So what I'll do is I'll just accept. As you can see, I've uh, accepted other people. So then don't panic about this. I'm going to click on my dashboard. Still showing a notification. Just let's have a look. Uh, I've accepted you. There shouldn't be any more notifications there. Okay. And that notification green button is gone. So this is my dashboard. And this is where I'm preparing a couple of projects uh, that I'm going to propose and put out there. I haven't done so yet. As you can see, they're just drafts. So that's what I've done at the moment. And if I want to uh, prepare, this is this is a really good thing because I can prepare them here. I can add another posting and get them all ready and as drafts and then publish them as I need to go. Um, as you can see, these have expiry dates on them. So I, I can actually go edit these, edit, and then uh, change the expiry. Okay, now let me go to the groups, uh, my twin spaces. You can click on that, but there's nothing there at the moment because the projects haven't been um, opened in my instance. But if you have a, a new project that you've just started on the European platform, this ESE platform, then your twin spaces will show up here. Um, I haven't started anything yet. So they won't show up. Let's go to my groups. I've enrolled in two new groups, the English Around the World and this uh, one for Italian teachers. Uh, and I've also created a group for Conversation English teachers. And uh, I've actually advertised that in a few places, hoping to get as many of you to join. So when I click on the home page of the Conversation English teachers, I'm going to see uh, the updates that I've done and there's a couple of pages down here if you want to see all the updates or anyone else that has written or left a message. Uh, there's a poll here so if you become a member of uh, my 
group you can go ahead and answer the poll you can go to the pages the materials the forum online meetings the members and the support so uh, I'm not going to do anything more here. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get this, this far. Let's go and have a look at the profile. That's the only thing I haven't shown you yet. So the profile, you'll be able to see your profile here. You'll be able to actually edit your profile. And over here it says how many contacts you that have actually connected with you. But I have, I think I've asked uh, about 20 or so people at the moment. So I'm just waiting for them. And this is the school that I belong to, the um, organisation. Now, in the About page, it tells me a little bit more about uh, my ID, etc. And then in the Projects page, there's nothing here at the moment. Anyway, so that's about it. That's all you need to see. Um, and that's all that's available to see at the moment. But you can go into the Networking section. I forgot to mention this. The Networking section, and you can find partners or people uh, so you can look up by clicking on people write a name of a person that you want to connect with and then it'll show up down the bottom you can also use the filters however I'm just going to go back to my dashboard and log out and hopefully log in successfully next time so thank you for listening and that's all from me